Hi guys, I'm going to be talking about hair tips today on things that can make your hair grow up faster, how it can make it healthier, how it can make your hair not so, look so greasy after a few days of not washing it. Okay, so first to start, I do not style my hair very often. And as you guys can see, my hair is crimped on the lower part of my hair. Um, I did put my hair in braids when it was a bit damp, so therefore I got the crimping look. Um, I didn't do French braids or any other type of uh, fanatic braid, fishtail braid, uh, all those cool braids. I just did regular braids. Um, so first to start, I wash my hair with the Mane and Tail Hair and Shampoo. I get it from normally Sally's Beauty Supply and it's uh, pretty cheap. It's a decent price actually. It's about, I want to say, this isn't here, I have the price on it anymore. But I want to say that I got it for like $10 a bottle, and that's the family size bottle. Um, it doesn't have any organic, like, not organic, but it doesn't have any chemical smell in it, so it's all organic, which is fantastic for your hair. Another thing I like to do with my hair is once I take a shower, I like to get out of the shower and um, prevent split ends. So your hair um, can keep on growing. Because once you have split ends and you like just pick them off um, and you think that they're gone what actually happens to your hair is it's called a chemical cut and eventually your split ends will rise up to your hair that's what causes it to have damage and look like it's not very healthy but back to the thing I like to use the Redken Fifth Avenue Extreme Anti-Snap and this is a leave-in um, treatment it's actually a very good I stole this from my mom to be completely honest but I want to say that she got it from either Ulta or Sephora and I'm not exactly sure how much it cost but Redken is a rather expensive product I'm sure you can um, google it and I'll actually put it, um, the link for it down in the down bar from Ulta where you can buy it online um, another thing is, is if I fall asleep with um, hair wet then I wake up with extremely frizzy hair so what I do is I put something called anti-frizz in it. You can make your own anti-frizz from water and conditioner mixing. My mom um, did go to beauty school, so she does know how to make all these neat um, mixtures and everything like that. But as of right now, I just use the advanced technique to frizz control. And it is Lotus Shield and it's anti-freeze treatment for all types of hair. It's just in an orange bottle like this. I'm pretty sure you can get it from Ulta, Sephora, anywhere. Um, I also, my hair gets extremely greasy very fast, and with the Mane and Tail Hair and Shampoo, it has um, organic chemicals in it, so therefore, if you were to get extremely greasy hair like I do, it takes a few days for it to um, get greasy when, say for instance, if you were to use Garnier's Fructis, a herbal, es herbal essence to swap, anything like that um, causes your hair to get more greasy um, if you have the same hair type as mine. Another like thing I like to do is I don't wash my hair every day. I'll put it up in the shower. It's good for your hair to have the natural chemicals. So I put baby powder in it. I just use any type of baby powder. It really honestly doesn't matter. Um, I just rub it through my hands and spread it throughout my hair and that seems to help it very well. Um, when I brush my hair, I don't use a regular paddle brush, um, a spiral brush. I actually use an extension brush. No, I do not have extensions, but an extension brush is way more gentle with your hair. I used to have extensions when I bleached my hair and cut it and had black extensions underneath. But a uh, hair extension hairbrush just has uh, loops instead of um, brushels. It's uh, very easy on your hair. It doesn't rip it out nor give it split ends. When I do style my hair, I use heat protectant and I use the Cheat um, Hydrin Interlink. It's 44 Iron Guard. I actually um, bought this uh, from CVS uh, for about, I want to say, $15. Um, doesn't have the price on here either, sadly. Sorry about that but it helps protect it from any heat and when you are styling your hair if there's steam that just means the product is being like worn off like it's actually working the heat protectant and when I do ever straighten my hair which is on a very rare occasion I use a Chi, um, chi Air this is my Chi I have barely ever used it as you can tell I have my clamps still clean as good as how they came 
but I put it on a rather low setting. I don't turn it all the way up. I honestly go to the middle because I have fine hair. And when I do curl my hair, which is very often, actually probably about once or twice a week, I just use uh, this Con Hair Air Curling Iron here. I want to say it's from Ulta, Walmart. You can honestly get these anywhere, um, drug stores. And I use about, this looks like an inch barrel. I start at the top here, and I'll like clamp at the top, and then I roll down, curl, and then I'll unclamp it, roll down to the rest of my hair, and then curl it again. And I only hold it for about 10 seconds. And I go along with the same process as my straightener. I only put it up to a certain amount of heat to the middle, so it doesn't um, give your hair any more damage than it already should. But those are all the tips I have for you guys. If you guys have any more questions, I have plenty more tips. Um, just uh, comment down below and I can make another hair video for you guys or um, get back to you through message. So thanks. Bye.